Do we have any questions about that? You understand? Why? Okay. Okay. What comes from the Creator is general energy of light with all these forces. And it comes in a form of light. So after you say the Creator is one, blessed his kingdom forever and ever, amen, seven times, you breathe the Creator's light into your soul from above, through your body, all the way down and out from your lower fields back to the Creator. And you can do it one, two, three times. So you fill actively, willingly, by choice, with Creator's light all your soul after you plug in. And you breathe the Creator's light. Later on we'll talk what they are and how they affect you specifically. But right now we are generally bringing it in. And when you yawn, it is a spiritual acceptance of Creator's light instead of something else. So yawning is not a symbol or signal of boredom or tiredness. It is your soul in your body breathing the Creator's light, exchanging them for something else, which is existent. You understand? So here in this room, when you yawn, and you will, it is an excellent indication for your soul breathing the Creator's light in. And the more you yawn, yeah, don't stop the yawning, allow it to happen fully, and you will feel it opening up in your core as it comes through and through and through and through and through, and it feels expansion. As the light of the Creator starts filling your soul levels more and more in the main vortex. Okay? What time is it? One o'clock? That's good. Okay. Do we take a break now? I think it's a good time to take a break until about two o'clock. And then we'll come back and learn about protections. Spiritual protections. Oh, it's not book. Yeah. Let me close. Okay, so the chapter now we're talking about is how do we connect to the source. Now, there are many spiritual practices which direct people to connect to all kinds of sources and all kinds of spaces. And some people are taught to connect to the center of the earth. Some people are taught to connect to the light. Some people are taught to connect to the universe. And some people are taught to connect to another angel or something, or another spiritual being. So all these are spaces that are creating creation products. They're not the source. You understand the difference? They're not the source. They're creation products. Our soul, spirit and aura, are spiritually created and they are fed directly from the source where they are originating from, which is the creator. Creator of light. Now I want to explain to you about light. This is very important what I'm teaching you now because many people do not have that understanding, knowledge, or definition. <coughs> when creation happened and there was the Big Bang and there was light, I'm based on the Old Testament, excuse my uh, ignorance. This is what I was taught. If somebody knows something else, it's okay. What I'm giving you is the origin, original explanation about creation of light. So, 
the Creator said, let there be light, and there was light. And then the Creator differentiated between light and dark. Correct? Light and, light and darkness. So, both of them are light. The difference is not that this is light and this is black. It's not white and black. It is light and light. The difference is the quality of energy in each one. And I will mention them to you now. So, if this is eternal light world, and this is the creation of light, I'll just separate it here for comfort. And this is dark. Dark. This is having. And this is not having. Emptiness. So, in both of them there is light. Yes? Light. So we have here light. And here we have light. Uh, light. Okay? But that's where the resemblance ends. In the side of light, we have what we call the sacred contents, which is life. Here we have no life. No life. Nothing. No life. Here we have love. What do you have fear? 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 All other feelings that are not love. You can say hate, you can say guilt, you can say shame, you can say... Fear is the basic of separation. Okay, so I'll write here fear. Now, guys, love is not emotional love. It's a life force. Love is a creative force and it exists everywhere in the universe. And it is a vibration of love. It's not, oh, I'm in love with you, goo goo eyes. It's not that one. It is love for all that is, all creation, love to everything that is created. Okay. Then is grace. Grace is good deeds, action to do good, to give something good. Here is control. Compassion. Compassion. Compassion allows you to forgive and not be judgmental. Forgive. Be compassionate. It's very well indoctrinated in the Buddhism. Compassion. On the other hand, it's judgment. Judgment. Wisdom. Wisdom. Wisdom is the knowledge of how to do good with your information. How to navigate, direct your knowledge to create something excellent and good and wonderful with that, for others, so you can get a Nobel Prize. <laughs> On the other side, it's data, information. So information, yeah, information, data, yeah, trivia. What do you do with it? Sit all day and change and watch all kinds of YouTube information. 
What kind of good things do you do with it? How do you use it to the wellness of your life and others? Really? <laughs> is it wisdom or is it trivia? Information. And you use it for judgment and control and scare others or control others with it. You see the difference? Abundance. Uh, Ban dance. Here, lack. Not having. Lack. Not lack. Lack. Not having. Yeah? Poor poverty. Poverty. Yeah? Health. Wholeness, health, being complete, completude, huh? health. What's here? Illness, suffering, illness, souffrir, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, illness, illness or suffering. You understand? So this is light and this is dark. Both of them are light with different qualities. What are you connecting to to bring to your soul? What part of creation or space do you connect to bring light to your soul? This one or this one? Do you know? Oopsie. Yeah. Do you know the difference? Do you understand that when this definition was created and division of light and not light, sacred and not sacred was created, the universe also was divided like that. So there are universes of light and universes of no light or darkness where consciousness and function is like that and so is the light. So there are universes and planets and consciousness that are full of that and that's what I'm teaching you. And there are others which connect to this side of creation and there are cultures in this planet which are guided and use these energy totally. And the symbol of their spiritual, uh, spiritual belief is half moon which is the governor of light, of uh, night. And in, in the scriptures they say, and God called the day, the light, day, and darkness he called night. And there was morning, and there was evening, and it was one day. That's what he says. I didn't invent it, I'm just explaining it. So those who are symbolizing their spiritual connection to the night and the symbol of night connect to this energy. And, the, uh, and they suffer lack and illness and judgment and control and governed by fear and worship death, not life. All right here, death. They use death as something to worship. And others value and live with these forces do you understand the difference of consciousness? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not judging what is good and what is not good. God said this is good and God said this is not good. I'm just here to explain to you what is created and you make your choices. But you have to choose when you connect and you want to feed your soul with something that will make your soul healthy and abundance, to have abundance in your life and have wisdom to choose the knowledge to make your life a good experience and help others and have compassion for yourself and others and have grace and good actions for others and yourself and experience love and life force and bring that light into you you want to know you are connecting to the right plug and that is the creator and not any other space which was created during evolution of creation. 
So you don't connect to the universe. Well, which universe? Don't you want to connect to the one who created these universes before they were manifested? To the source. Is that complexing? No? It's, a, it's clear? Okay. Do you want to connect to Earth? Earth is matter. It's not the origin of the soul. It's where the soul comes to exercise emotions and learn. But the Earth creates material for the physical body. Minerals, vitamins, oils, fruits, vegetables, etc. So the physical body can extract them to sustain its physiology and live. The soul does not need planet Earth to have energy from it to empower the soul. The soul needs the source's light to empower it and to feed it, not the Earth. So whoever teaches you to energetically take energy from the planet, do they increase your frequency or decrease your frequency? Yeah? Okay, you understand. So you want the soul to receive this, the energy from the highest source possible. So I want to teach you how to connect to the source because from that source you receive all the other tools and energies. So, from a historical perspective, there was creation and then other spiritual beings were created to help manage creation. Territories, universes, galaxies, planets, stars. And these spiritual beings were very big and had large territories and great forces. Later on, civilizations that inhibited planets like planet Earth and humanity came and they saw these spiritual beings instead of as creation assistants, as their creators. So these godhoods, like Jupiter and Mars and uh, other spiritual forces which exist to help to manage creation or forces of creation, humanity, instead of using them as assistants to the creator, confused and started using them as the only creators and then it blocked their connection to higher dimensions. So they connected only to the assistants, not to the creator. So humanity for many centuries worshipped godhoods and were paganic. Correct? Yes? We know it. Yeah. So still paganic practices are very common in India, in the Far East, in South America, uh, and other cultures. It is normal practice. And, can you hear me now? Yes. Okay. The first time humanity returned into connection to one force, which is the original creator of all forces, was the forefather of the Jewish people, which was Abraham, and it was at the time of the Babylonian uh, culture, civilization, 4,000 years before Christ. That's when first that person said, oh, it's not possible that people build these mud, clay, sculptures and then pray to them like they are their own creators when they made them. It's not possible, it doesn't make sense. No? You build a sculpture and then you pray to it, you made it. He's not your creator, you created the sculpture. It's wrong concept. So he started to investigate and he reached the connection to the creator. So then he passed on that ability to connect to that source 
And that's when monotheism started. And 3,000, uh, four, three and a half thousand years later, uh, the Jewish people were the only ones who brought in the monotheistic belief. All other nations on planet Earth basically practiced paganism. They worshiped godhoods of very various kinds in the Middle East, in other cultures, and they did human, human sacrifices to these gods to give them fertility, to give them rain, to give them protection, etc. So, at the time of Jesus, monotheism, after his death and all the apostles, they brought it to the Roman Empire and then one of the Roman Empire and emperors decided to take this as his uh, religion and he imposed it on all the Roman Empire. And then Christianity was accepted. So Christianity is monotheism. And 600 years after that, there was um, in uh, Saudi Arabia, Muhammad, he received information from Archangel Gabriel about the Creator, and he gave him his uh, definition. So another monotheistic belief started. So we have three monotheistic beliefs originating connecting to the Creator. Yeah? And other cultures adapted yeah, as people from the Christian culture went with colonialism to the Far East, to the Americas, and then monotheism was spread out through the globe. So this is a very short version of history of how monotheism, a connection to the source, uh, evolved, but most people don't know really how to do it, do it fast and effectively and accurately, and connect to that side of the line. They don't know. They tell you, pray to God. Well, what do I do? How do I do it? How do I know I'm right? How do I know I'm wrong? How do I know? So I'm going to give you a, a method, which is a code to connect to the source. And the source is the creator, and his um, assistants are the angels. They were created before humans. They were the first creation to assist him with management of all creation. So the angels are spiritual beings of the light. And we ask the creator and the angels, which are the heavenly host of the kingdom of heaven, to help us. So what do we do to connect to the source? Creator. We say the Creator is one. That means the Creator and I are one. Yes. And then we say, Blessed is kingdom forever and ever. Amen. That means I connect myself to the Creator, which is one, and I ask the heavenly kingdom, the angels, to assist me and protect. Me. So we say three times for plugging in. Okay? So I will say it, and you say it with me, so we connect. And when we say it three times, we plug in. Like that. You plug in. It just does it because of the code of the words. And we say it four more times for activation of the kingdom of heaven around the soul, for protection of the soul. So basically, we say it seven times in a row. Three and four. One is to connect and one is to activate the kingdom of heaven around the soul in all dimensions. In all around the soul, everywhere. Okay? So connection to the creator is a choice and is a function and is a function of intent and is a function of words. So when you say the creator is one, Blessed is kingdom forever and ever. Amen. Basically, you activate your intent and your words to do that connection. Do you know what the word amen means? Did anyone of you, you heard the word? Yes? Amen. You heard it? 
Yeah, it is belief. In Hebrew, the word amen comes from emuna, which is belief. Mean believe it. So the letters A M N Amen is a Hebrew word meaning believe it. Believe in it. So Amen is a Hebrew word. So you don't know you're saying it, but it is in Hebrew. Do you know what hallelujah means? You heard the word hallelujah? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise. Yeah, it's God. Praise the Lord. In Hebrew, it's you're speaking Hebrew, you don't know it. <laughs> Everybody is ready? We're going to connect. So you can repeat after me. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. The Creator is one. Blessed is kingdom. Forever and ever. Amen. And you feel energy change when you do that. You feel it. It feels peaceful and gentle and warm and relaxing. This is the presence of the Creator with you here. Do you know what it feels like here now? Like when you go into church and it feels like that presence, you bring it in with these declarations and connections. Enjoy. I'm just observing each and every one of you to see that your soul is connected from the Creator through and through, all the way down to the Creator all around you. Very good. So all of you are now connected. That is extremely easy. And how do you apply it in your daily life? So in the morning, when you get up and you decide to finish everything and you want to prepare yourself for the day before you leave the house, you make the seven times this declaration to enter and accept the forces from the Creator, enter the space of the Creator to receive His energies into you. It is your choice to do it or not to do it. Nobody is forcing you to connect to the Creator. But if you want to get the Creator forces of the light, then it's your responsibility every day to re-plug in after you wake up from your sleep you eat your breakfast, you brush your teeth, you take your shower, you do whatever. Before you leave your home for your day, you connect. And then it is available for you all day to use these forces. You cannot expect to see a television show if you don't plug your television into the electricity. Why do you expect your soul to function without plugging in? Right? 
the connection and feeding your soul from the creator source is your personal choice and you can choose to do it or not to do it it's an active of choice it's an active choice of you and it is not that the creator leaves you you leave the creator you're the one who disconnects he's present you can choose to connect or choose not to connect it's an active choice, it's a free choice. And freedom of choice is the law of the universe. You have free choice. So if you choose, great. If you choose not to, well, take the consequences. So if you know what to do and how to do, it's very easy, it doesn't take time. And you can do it at any time of the day you feel your energy is dropping. Recharge again. Yeah. Why not? And it is the strongest and the purest source that your soul will receive all it needs. It will not receive it from other entities, other humans, other universes, or other uh, persons. Nobody in the world can give you what the Creator can give your soul. No one. So don't be parasites. Don't drain other people with your own energies. Take it directly from the Creator. Don't try and connect to others to take their energy, their knowledge, their feelings. This is parasitical. This is not polite spiritually. You want to connect directly, vertically, to the Creator. You want to connect from the higher level of your soul, all the way through all your levels, through your physical body, all the way down and, uh, and around. Okay, you understand that. It is your responsibility and free will to connect and to use these energies or not. But don't take it from other people because they will never be able to give you everything you need like the Creator will. Never. And probably you will also take some shit from them as well, which you didn't expect. Okay?